Hey guys, it's me Sylvia, back with another video. If you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Sylvia Gani, welcome. Today's video is gonna be testing another weird beauty product slash like Instagram beauty hack, you know, cause I found it off Instagram. And that is this faux freckles temporary tattoo thing we got going on here. So I saw this a few times in Instagram beauty videos where it's like actually a temporary tattoo that they put on and then peel off and voila, they have freckles. And it seemed like a cool idea. I mean, it seems a little, a little crazy. I don't know how long it might last. I don't know how natural it's going to look, but that's why we're gonna test it out today because it definitely would be a lot quicker than just drying on each freckle on its own. You know what I mean? So why not give it a try if it makes your life easier? I'm all for it. And before we start testing this product out, I need to announce my giveaway winner who won the iPhone 7 rose gold. Congratulations to Jackie Rogers from Denver, Colorado. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much for entering. I have sent an email to the winner. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. But don't forget to subscribe before we start. All right, let's do it. So before I try these bad boys on, I'm gonna talk about them. So these retail for $25 on faufreckles.com. I'm not being sponsored to talk about this or anything like that. I just thought it was pretty cool, so I'm gonna try it. Anyways, so I paid $25 US for this, and then I also had to pay like $20 shipping, which was very depressing, because that's almost as much as the actual product itself. But I did it for the sake of testing something cool and new and weird, so. So this is the packaging. It has the instructions on the back. I'm pretty sure this is only for like a one-time use, which kind of sucks because it is kind of expensive for something that's so temporary. So I'm supposed to clean my skin, make sure it's free of oils and makeup. So I'm just gonna go over with a makeup wipe, the spot where I'm gonna put the freckles. Remove clear protective top sheet. All right, I guess I have to open it. Right. Why is it so difficult to open? <laughs> Finally, okay. Wow, I'm actually sweating after trying to open this for so long. Oh good, there's actual like trace out stuff on the back of it. I thought I would have to like cut this square sheet out into where I would want the freckles, you know? Which would have been more work than I wanted to do. <laughs> I was kind of expecting more than one sheet. What if I mess up, you know? Anyways, so I guess it's just this one tiny square of freckles. And on the back it has shapes that I guess you trace out. I'm assuming these are for your nose and then these are like random ovals that you can put around your face wherever you want the freckles. Please do not disturb, I'm filming. Twins. He's just too cute not to like take a break to cuddle, you know? So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the little shapes. And I guess so then you can fold it. There's like little triangle pieces that you're supposed to cut out. I do have a very, very old video of me showing how I do my own faux freckles with makeup and not with a tattoo type of thing. Okay. Ah! So now I'm just supposed to press the freckle adhesive firmly onto clean, dry skin with the design facing down. Duh. Oh. I forgot to take off the film. All right, so let's take that off. Actually, I guess you could use this twice because it comes with like two of these nose strips, which would technically make it like $12 per use since they sell it for 25 bucks, which is still kind of pricey to be honest. Like it's just a sticker. My eyes are so watery, I don't know why. And now I'm just gonna soak it with a wet cloth. Honestly, it's not wet enough, so I'm just gonna spray my face with the Fix Plus. You gotta do what you gotta do. It says, hold the wet cloth against back of freckles, press down and damp thoroughly. Wait 30 seconds, don't hurry, and peel off paper backing. Temporary tattoos like this were my absolute favorite when I was a kid, so this is kind of bringing me back. All right, well, it's sliding off, so I'm assuming it's done. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so this part by my nostrils on both sides is like kind of lifted, like it didn't stick down all the way. And you can tell that it's some sort of like film. So I'm gonna wet my finger, make it a little bit damp and try and push that down. It also says how to remove it. So you just saturate the freckles with baby oil, wait 10 seconds and then gently rub with a cotton ball in a circular motion. So you really can't like milk these for a few days unless you don't wash your face, which would be kind of dirty. So don't do that. I'm gonna actually use two of these ovals and kind of spread it out a little bit on my cheekbones. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like it's just not realistic just because all of the freckles are so perfectly placed. They don't like spread out over here. So when I apply my makeup, I think I'm definitely gonna make a few freckles of my own to kind of spread it out and make it look a little bit more natural. They were so easy to apply. It really, really was. The only thing is it does look like I have some sort of film on my face cause it's very shiny. But I'm kind of impressed actually like that was so quick and I just gave myself freckles just like that. I'm gonna give you guys a close up just so you can see how it looks like before I put on any makeup. The freckles are very, very prominent. There's a lot of really dark ones. So now I'm gonna apply makeup 
up. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I actually want it to look very natural, very dewy. So to start off, I'm gonna use a very hydrating primer. This is the Guerlain primer with um, real gold flex in it. I'm just assuming that I'm gonna have to stay away from the tattoo with like the liquidy products like this. Otherwise, it's probably gonna disintegrate it. I'm also gonna add some MAC strobe cream, which is a very, very luminous kind of moisturizer. I'm gonna apply that all the places where I would normally highlight to give me a little bit more luminosity underneath my foundation. So you can see that it does give me like a highlighted effect, just like a powder highlight would, but it's a cream, so you can use it before your foundation. Before I apply a full layer foundation all over my face, I'm first gonna go in with a very full coverage matte foundation, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I'm gonna go in with that only on top of my acne. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to get away with like that dewy foundation that's really lightweight, meant to look like it's not really there, because if you got acne, it's actually gonna accentuate those acne spots. Now that I covered all of my acne spots, you can see that my face already looks a lot more flawless, and I don't even have a full layer of foundation on. So now I'm gonna go in with Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm just gonna dab with my finger on the areas where I want a little bit of foundation. I'm just going very lightly and bouncing, making sure not to disturb any of that foundation that we applied on top of our acne so it stays there. So you can see I barely used any of that foundation at all and it still gave my skin a nice flawless coverage. Now for concealer, I'm gonna go in with Born This Way Concealer. I'm gonna take it and just swipe it onto my hand instead of applying it right under my eye. And I'm gonna add just a drop of strobe cream. Now I'm gonna mix it together. This is gonna help to sheer it out a little bit so it's not too full coverage, it won't cover up our freckles, and it's gonna make it a little bit more luminous so it matches our skin. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit on the Beauty Blender and just be very gentle when applying so then I don't accidentally put too much and cover up those freckles. With whatever's left over on my Beauty Blender, I'm gonna go over the freckles just so then they look a little bit more natural because they look a little harsh right now. I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other eye. I'm also gonna go over my nose with just whatever's left over on the Beauty Blender and lightly dab it on top of the faux freckles. So far the freckles are taking the concealer on top of it really well because I did a very light layer. The only spot that I'm really unimpressed with is the nostril part here again. Looks very crusty and like it's peeling off a little bit. So it actually makes you look like you have dry flakes of skin. Now I do need to set my under eyes but I don't want to get rid of that luminosity and that dewy look that we have going on. So I'm just going to lightly dab that duo fiber brush into my translucent powder and just dust it directly over top of where I would normally get creasing, but leave the rest of it. We still wanna set, but we don't want the powder to take away all of that glow. And I'm gonna do the same thing and only set my foundation in the areas where I crease. So here, I always crease over top of some of my acne to make sure that the foundation stays on top of it and my smile lines. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm gonna be using Spiked Eyebrow Pencil from MAC. And I'm just gonna very, very lightly fill in my brows in the sparse areas. I am doing more of like a natural, no makeup makeup look, so I want it to barely look like I filled them in. I'm actually gonna brush my brow hairs this way so they look a little more messy and natural. Now I'm gonna go in with Benefit Air Patrol to prime my eyelids. This one is not as full coverage as the MAC Soft Ochre that I usually use because I don't want my natural skin on my eyelid to be completely covered, but I still want to be able to prime them for the eyeshadow that we're going in with to make sure it doesn't crease and it still lasts. Now for eyeshadow, since we're doing a very natural kind of fresh face look, I don't wanna do anything too crazy. This is the new Alexis Ren Times Color Pop palette. And it's got a bronzer and a highlighter inside of it. So I'm gonna actually use these for my eyes and my face. So it kind of all is uniform and still looks very natural. So I'm gonna take my blending brush, dip it into the bronzer there, and just apply that only on the outer corner and into the crease. Warm up our eyes, define the crease a little bit, but not make it look like we actually have too much going on. Now I'm gonna just go in with the highlighter from the palette and apply that on my lid. I'm also gonna use it to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And I'm gonna take that and just bring it on my lower lash line a little bit. I'm gonna apply a lot of mascara, a lot. This mascara is everything. It just is, look it. Wow, love it. I mean, you can stop right there with the eyes. You definitely don't have to apply any false lashes, but because I'm extra AF and I love false lashes, I wanna apply these ones. They're still pretty natural. They're the MAC number 34 lashes, and they actually have a mixture of brown and black hairs, so they look a little bit less harsh. So I'm gonna apply those and be right back. So my lashes are on and now I'm gonna actually touch up some of the freckles because I don't want like this cluster to just end like that. So what I'm gonna do is actually take my eyebrow pencil from MAC, but you could also use like a brown eyeshadow with a really thin tip brush. And I'm just gonna make my own little freckles kind of far away, randomly placing them. 
Freckles are usually the most prominent wherever the sun hits. So I'm gonna also put a few on my forehead. Just do little clusters. Now I'm gonna finish up the rest of the makeup look. So I'm going in with that same bronze palette from ColourPop. And I'm actually gonna dust a little bit of whatever's left over on my brush on my nose to make it look like we're sun-kissed. I'm also gonna apply this along my hairline. Now I normally would go in with some blush, but because that bronzer gave our face enough color and I don't wanna go in with too much powder over top of the tattoo, otherwise I feel like it's gonna get really crusty and start to dry off. So I'm gonna just leave it like this. Now to finish up the face, I'm gonna go in with a cream highlight. I'm choosing a cream highlight because I don't wanna add powder on top of a luminous look because that's just gonna mattify it. I'm actually gonna go in right in there with my finger. This is called Shell, it's from MAC. And I'm gonna just dab it right on top of my cheekbones wherever I wanna highlight. Highlight. And since the bronzer that we used was a powder bronzer, it kind of mattified those areas as well. So I'm going to go over those with the highlighter wherever I want to look extra dewy and highlighted. I love it. I love it. It looks great. The skin is looking fresh, youthful, beautiful, beautiful. And the last step is to apply a lip color. You can skip the step if you really want to keep it super natural. I'm like, oh, it's such a natural look and 20,000 products later, here we are. But takes work to be beautiful, you know. This is the NYX Soft Mac Lip Cream in Stockholm. Stockholm, so soft and pretty. The NYX lip creams are very affordable, but they still wear really nicely, so I love them. Last but not least, I'm gonna finish up by spraying my face with MAC Fix Plus. This is gonna make my face look even more dewy, really help all the products kind of melt together. Woo, maybe I overdid it. Nah, you can never overdo it with that stuff. So this is the finished look that I did with these fake freckle tattoos. I really like the makeup look that I came up with, but for the tattoo freckles themselves, I don't think it's really worth it, to be honest. Like, it does look really good. It's very easy to apply, but you have to do a lot to make it work. And I feel like if you're buying these, then it's because you don't want to do a lot to make it work. You don't want to take the time to draw on the freckles to try and make it blend like I had to do. So personally, I don't think it's worth the money because it's not more convenient than it would be to draw draw them on yourself. I don't think it's worth $25, especially since you only get two times with it. Also, if I do too many facial expressions, it starts to like crinkle and it just shows like a bunch of fine lines, I guess, cause it's like a really thin kind of material that tightens your skin a little bit. I don't know, but when I do this, it starts to like look like I have something on my skin, you know? Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me testing out this crazy product. If you guys missed my last video, make sure you click the box down below and watch it. And be sure to add my socials if you're not friends with me on those yet because I update you guys on what I talk about my videos, etc, etc. And subscribe to my channel by clicking the bubble in my face right in the corner of the screen. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!